Ayavata, Ayavata IAST, Ayavata or Ayavata I CE was the first of the major mathematician astronomers from the classical age of Indian mathematics and Indian astronomy. His works include the Aryavatya, which mentions that in 3600 Kaliyuga, 499 CE, he was 23 years old, and the Arya Siddhanta. For his explicit mention of the relativity of motion, he also qualifies as a major early physicist. Topic: <inaudible> Biography. <inaudible> <inaudible> Name While there is a tendency to misspell his name as Ayavata by analogy with other names having the Bhata suffix, his name is properly spelled Ayavata. Every astronomical text spells his name thus, including Brahmagupta's references to him in more than a hundred places by name. Furthermore, in most instances, Ayavata would not fit the meter either. Topic: <inaudible> Time and place of birth. Ayavata mentions in the Ayavatiya that he was 23 years old, 3,600 years into the Kali Yuga, but this is not to mean that the text was composed at that time. This mentioned year corresponds to 499 CE and implies that he was born in 476. Ayavata called himself a native of Kasumapura or Pataliputra, present-day Patna, Bihar. Topic: <laughs> Other hypothesis. Bhaskara I describes Ayavata as Asmakya, one belonging to the Asmaka country. During the Buddha's time, a branch of the Asmaka people settled in the region between the Narmada and Godavari rivers in central India. It has been claimed that the Asmaka Sanskrit for stone, where Ayavata originated, may be the present-day Kodingalur, which was the historical capital city of Thiruvanchikkalam of ancient Kerala. This is based on the belief that Kotanalur was earlier known as Kotam Kal El Yor, city of hard stones. However, old records show that the city was actually Kotam Kol Yor, city of strict governance. Similarly, the fact that several commentaries on the Ayavatya have come from Kerala has been used to suggest that it was Ayavata's main place of life and activity. However, many commentaries have come from outside Kerala, and the Arya Siddhanta was completely unknown in Kerala. K. Chandra Hari has argued for the Kerala hypothesis on the basis of astronomical evidence. Ayavata mentions Lanka on several occasions in the Ayavatya, but his Lanka is an abstraction, standing for a point on the equator at the same longitude as his Ujjayini. Education It is fairly certain that, at some point, he went to Kasumapura for advanced studies and lived there for some time. Both Hindu and Buddhist tradition, as well as Bhaskara I CE 629, identify Kasumapura as Pataliputra, modern Patna. A verse mentions that Ayavata was the head of an institution Kalapa at Kasumapura, and, because the University of Nalanda was in Pataliputra at the time and had an astronomical observatory, it is speculated that Ayavata might have been the head of the Nalanda University as well. 
Aryavata is also reputed to have set up an observatory at the Sun Temple in Taragana, Bihar. Topic Works. Aryavata is the author of several treatises on mathematics and astronomy, some of which are lost. His major work, Aryavatya, a compendium of mathematics and astronomy, was extensively referred to in the Indian mathematical literature and has survived to modern times. The mathematical part of the Aryavatya covers arithmetic, algebra, plane trigonometry, and spherical trigonometry. It also contains continued fractions, quadratic equations, sums of power series, and a table of signs. The Arya Siddhanta, a lost work on astronomical computations, is known through the writings of Aryavata's contemporary, Varahamahira, and later mathematicians and commentators, including Brahmagupta and Bhaskara I. This work appears to be based on the older Surya Siddhanta and uses the midnight day reckoning, as opposed to sunrise in Aryavatya. It also contained a description of several astronomical instruments, the gnomon Shanku Yantra, a shadow instrument Chaya Yantra, possibly angle measuring devices, semicircular and circular Danur Yantra, Chakra Yantra, a cylindrical stick Yasti Yantra, an umbrella shaped device called the Chatra Yantra, and water clocks of at least two types, bow shaped and cylindrical, a third text, which may have survived in the Arabic translation, is al-ntf or al-nanf. It claims that it is a translation by Aryavata, but the Sanskrit name of this work is not known. Probably dating from the 9th century, it is mentioned by the Persian scholar and chronicler of India, Abu Rayyan al-Biruni. Aryavatya Direct details of Aryavata's work are known only from the Aryavatya. The name, Aryavatya, is due to later commentators. Aryavata himself may not have given it a name. His disciple Bhaskara I calls it Ashmakatantra or the treatise from the Ashmaka. It is also occasionally referred to as Aryashatas Ashta, literally, Aryavatas 108, because there are 108 verses in the text. It is written in the very terse style typical of sutra literature, in which each line is an aid to memory for a complex system. Thus, the explication of meaning is due to commentators. The text consists of the 108 verses and 13 introductory verses, and is divided into four padas or chapters. Gatikapada, 13 verses, large units of time. Kalpa, Manvantra, and Yuga, which present a cosmology different from earlier texts such as Lagada's Vedanga Jyotisha, c. 1st century BCE. There is also a table of signs JYA, given in a single verse. The duration of the planetary revolutions during a Mahayuga is given as 4.32 million years. Ganitapada 33 verses, covering mensuration Vyavahara, arithmetic and geometric progressions, gnomon, shadows Shanku Chaya, simple, quadratic, simultaneous, and indeterminate equations Kutaka. Kalakriyapada 25 verses, different units of time and a method for determining the positions of planets for a given day, calculations concerning the intercalary month Adikamasa, Kshaya Tithis, and a seven-day week with names for the days of week. 
Scola Pada, 50 verses, geometric, trigonometric aspects of the celestial sphere, features of the ecliptic, celestial equator, node, shape of the Earth, cause of day and night, rising of zodiacal signs on horizon, etc. In addition, some versions cite a few colophons added at the end, extolling the virtues of the work, etc. The Aryavatya presented a number of innovations in mathematics and astronomy in verse form, which were influential for many centuries. The extreme brevity of the text was elaborated in commentaries by his disciple Bhaskara I. Bashya, c. 600 CE and by Nilakantha Somayaji in his Aryavatya Basya, 1465 CE. The Aryavatya is also remarkable for its description of relativity of motion. He expressed this relativity thus, just as a man in a boat moving forward sees the stationary objects on the shore as moving backward, just so are the stationary stars seen by the people on Earth as moving exactly towards the west. Mathematics <laughs> 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 topic place value system and zero the place value system first seen in the 3rd century bakshali manuscript was clearly in place in his work while he did not use a symbol for zero, the French mathematician Georges Ifra argues that knowledge of zero was implicit in Aryavata's place value system as a placeholder for the powers of ten with null coefficients, however, Aryavata did not use the Brahmi numerals. Continuing the Sanskritic tradition from Vedic times, he used letters of the alphabet to denote numbers, expressing quantities, such as the table of signs in a mnemonic form. Approximation of pi Aryavata worked on the approximation for pi, pi, and may have come to the conclusion that pi is irrational. In the second part of the Aryavatyam, Ganitapada 10, he writes: Kacharadikam satamastaganam devasasti stata sahasrana mayutadvaya viskambasyazano viataparinaha. Add 4 to 100, multiply by 8, and then add 62,000. By this rule the circumference of a circle with a diameter of 20,000 can be approached. This implies that the ratio of the circumference to the diameter is 4 plus 100 times 8 plus 62,000, 20,000. Topic sixty two thousand eight hundred and thirty two twenty thousandths three point one four one six, which is accurate to five significant figures. It is speculated that Ayavata used the word asana approaching to mean that not only is this an approximation but that the value is incommensurable or irrational. If this is correct, it is quite a sophisticated insight, because the irrationality of pi, pi was proved in Europe only in 1761 by Lambert, after Aryavatya was translated into Arabic c. 820 CE. This approximation was mentioned in Al-Khwarizmi's book on algebra. Topic: Trigonometry. In Ganitapada 6, Ayavata gives the area of a triangle as Trivuhasya Phalasariram Samadalakoti Bujardasam Varga. That translates to "For a triangle, the result of a perpendicular with the half side is the area." 
Aryavata discussed the concept of sign in his work by the name of Arda Jya, which literally means, half chord. For simplicity, people started calling it Jya. When Arabic writers translated his works from Sanskrit into Arabic, they referred it as Jiba. However, in Arabic writings, vowels are omitted, and it was abbreviated as JB. Later writers substituted it with jab, meaning pocket or fold in a garment. In Arabic, jiba is a meaningless word. Later in the 12th century, when Gerardo of Cremona translated these writings from Arabic into Latin, he replaced the Arabic jab with its Latin counterpart, sinus, which means cove or bay. Thence comes the English word sign. Topic: <inaudible> Indeterminate equations. A problem of great interest to Indian mathematicians since ancient times has been to find integer solutions to Diophantine equations that have the form ax plus by equals c. This problem was also studied in ancient Chinese mathematics, and its solution is usually referred to as the Chinese remainder theorem. Closing parenthesis. This is an example from Bhaskara's commentary on Aryavatya. Find the number which gives 5 as the remainder when divided by 8, 4 as the remainder when divided by 9, and 1 as the remainder when divided by 7 that is, find n. Topic 8x plus 5 9y plus 4 equals 7z plus 1 it turns out that the smallest value for n is 85. In general, Diophantine equations, such as this, can be notoriously difficult. They were discussed extensively in ancient Vedic text Sulba Sutras, whose more ancient parts might date to 800 BCE. Aryavata's method of solving such problems, elaborated by Bhaskara in 621 CE, is called the Kutaka, Kutaka method. Kutaka means pulverizing or breaking into small pieces, and the method involves a recursive algorithm for writing the original factors in smaller numbers. This algorithm became the standard method for solving first-order Diophantine equations in Indian mathematics, and initially the whole subject of algebra was called Kutaka Ganita or simply Kut aka. Algebra <laughs> 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 In Aryavatya, Aryavata provided elegant results for the summation of series of squares and cubes 1 2 plus 2 2 plus plus n 2 equals n n plus 1 2 n plus 1 6 display style 1 carrot 2 plus 2 carrot 2 plus c d o t s plus n carrot 2 equals n n plus 1 2 n plus 1 over 6 and 1 3 plus 2 3 plus plus n 3 equals 1 plus 2 plus plus n 2 
Display style one carrot three plus two carrot three plus C D O T S plus N carrot three equals one plus two plus C D O T S plus N carrot two C squared triangular number. Topic Astronomy Ayavata's system of astronomy was called the Audiaka system, in which days are reckoned from Uday, dawn at Lanka or equator. Some of his later writings on astronomy, which apparently proposed a second model or Arda Ratrika, midnight, are lost but can be partly reconstructed from the discussion in Brahmagupta's Kandakadyaka. In some texts, he seems to ascribe the apparent motions of the heavens to the Earth's rotation. He may have believed that the planet's orbits as elliptical rather than circular. <laughs> <laughs> motions of the Solar System Ayavata correctly insisted that the Earth rotates about its axis daily, and that the apparent movement of the stars is a relative motion caused by the rotation of the Earth, contrary to the then prevailing view, that the sky rotated. This is indicated in the first chapter of the Ayavatya, where he gives the number of rotations of the Earth in a yuga, and made more explicit in his Gola chapter, in the same way that someone in a boat going forward sees an unmoving object going backward, so someone on the equator sees the unmoving stars going uniformly westward. The cause of rising and setting is that the sphere of the stars together with the planets apparently turns due west at the equator, constantly pushed by the cosmic wind. Ayavata described a geocentric model of the solar system, in which the Sun and Moon are each carried by epicycles. They in turn revolve around the Earth. In this model, which is also found in the Pitamahasiddhanta c. CE 425, the motions of the planets are each governed by two epicycles, a smaller manda slow and a larger syra fast. The order of the planets in terms of distance from Earth is taken as, the Moon, Mercury, Venus, the Sun, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, and the asterisms, the positions and periods of the planets was calculated relative to uniformly moving points. In the case of Mercury and Venus, they move around the Earth at the same mean speed as the Sun. In the case of Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn, they move around the Earth at specific speeds, representing each planet's motion through the zodiac. Most historians of astronomy consider that this two-epicycle model reflects elements of pre-Ptolemaic Greek astronomy. Another element in Ayavata's model, the Syroka, the basic planetary period in relation to the Sun, is seen by some historians as a sign of an underlying heliocentric model. <laughs> <laughs> Eclipses Solar and lunar eclipses were scientifically explained by Ayavata. He states that the moon and planets shine by reflected sunlight. Instead of the prevailing cosmogony in which eclipses were caused by Rahu and Ketu identified as the pseudo-planetary lunar nodes, he explains eclipses in terms of shadows cast by and falling on Earth. Thus, the lunar eclipse occurs when the moon enters into the Earth's shadow verse Gola he discusses at length the size and extent of the Earth's shadow versus Gola .38 and then provides the computation and the size of the eclipsed part during an eclipse. Later Indian astronomers improved on the calculations, but Ayavata's methods provided the core. 
His computational paradigm was so accurate that 18th-century scientist Guillaume Le Gentil, during a visit to Pondicherry, India, found the Indian computations of the duration of the lunar eclipse of 30 August 1765 to be short by 41 seconds, whereas his charts by Tobias Mayer, 1752 were long by 68 seconds. Topic: Sidereal periods. Considered in modern English units of time, Aryavarta calculated the sidereal rotation, the rotation of the Earth referencing the fixed stars, as 23 hours, 56 minutes, and 4.1 seconds. The modern value is 2356, 4.091. Similarly, his value for the length of the sidereal year at 365 days, 6 hours, 12 minutes, and 30 seconds 365.25858 days is an error of 3 minutes and 20 seconds over the length of a year 365.25636 days topic <laughs> heliocentrism As mentioned, Aryavarta advocated an astronomical model in which the Earth turns on its own axis. His model also gave corrections the Sigra anomaly for the speeds of the planets in the sky in terms of the mean speed of the Sun. Thus, it has been suggested that Aryavata's calculations were based on an underlying heliocentric model, in which the planets orbit the Sun, though this has been rebutted. It has also been suggested that aspects of Aryavata's system may have been derived from an earlier, likely pre-Ptolemaic Greek, heliocentric model of which Indian astronomers were unaware, though the evidence is scant. The general consensus is that a synodic anomaly depending on the position of the sun does not imply a physically heliocentric orbit such corrections being also present in late Babylonian astronomical texts and that Aryavata's system was not explicitly heliocentric Topic <laughs> Legacy Aryavata's work was of great influence in the Indian astronomical tradition and influenced several neighboring cultures through translations. The Arabic translation during the Islamic Golden Age c. 820 CE, was particularly influential. Some of his results are cited by al-Khwarizmi and in the 10th century al-Biruni stated that Aryavata's followers believed that the Earth rotated on its axis. His definitions of sine JYA, cosine kodja, vicine, utkram a JYA, and inverse sine utkram JYA influenced the birth of trigonometry. He was also the first to specify sine and vicine 1 minus cos x tables in 3.75 degrees intervals from 0 degrees to 90 degrees to an accuracy of 4 decimal places. In fact, modern names sine and cosine a mistranscriptions of the words jya and kodja as introduced by Aryavarta. As mentioned, they were translated as Jiba and Kojiba in Arabic and then misunderstood by Gerard of Cremona while translating an Arabic geometry text to Latin. He assumed that Jiba was the Arabic word jabe, which means, fold in a garment. L. Sinus c. 1150, Ayavata's astronomical calculation methods were also very influential. Along with the trigonometric tables, they came to be widely used in the Islamic world and used to compute many Arabic astronomical tables 
In particular, the astronomical tables in the work of the Arabic Spain scientist Al Zarqali (11th century) were translated into Latin as the Tables of Toledo (12th century) and remained the most accurate ephemeris used in Europe for centuries. Calendric calculations devised by Aryavata and his followers have been in continuous use in India for the practical purposes of fixing the Panchangam the Hindu calendar. In the Islamic world, they formed the basis of the Jalali calendar introduced in 1073 CE by a group of astronomers including Omar Khayyam, versions of which modified in 1925 are the national calendars in use in Iran and Afghanistan today. The dates of the Jalali calendar are based on actual solar transit, as in Aryavata and earlier Siddhanta calendars. This type of calendar requires an ephemeris for calculating dates. Although dates were difficult to compute, seasonal errors were less in the Jalali calendar than in the Gregorian calendar. Ayavata Knowledge University AKU, Patna has been established by Government of Bihar for the development and management of educational infrastructure related to technical, medical, management and allied professional education in his honor. The university is governed by Bihar State University Act 2008. India's first satellite Aryavata and the lunar crater Aryavata are named in his honour. An institute for conducting research in astronomy, astrophysics and atmospheric sciences is the Aryavata Research Institute of Observational Sciences near Nainital, India. The inter-school Aryavata maths competition is also named after him, as is Bacillus Aryavata, a species of bacteria discovered in the stratosphere by ISRO scientists in 2009. See also Aryavata numeration Aryavata's sign table Indian mathematics List of Indian mathematicians <laughs>